Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name is Adrienne Reed. Our theme for today, back bends. So we're gonna start actually standing up with a nice easy back bend, a standing camel. We're gonna float your hands to your waist. Bring your thumbs to your long muscles. You wanna get really tall through your spine. Your feet can be together or a little bit apart, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Draw your elbows slightly in together. On an inhale, draw your chin up slightly. And on an exhale, just start arching back. This is a warm up. So approach this really calm, a little bit of caution here. Make sure you're in a position where you can breathe. If you're so far back that you're losing your breath, you need to back out of that a little bit. We're gonna go two more breaths there. Knees can bend slightly also if you need to. And then after your second breath, draw your torso up. Beautiful, we're gonna partner up and do a little bit of work with camel on your knees. So when you're ready, Ustrasana, drop to your knees and you guys partner up for me. Suze, I'm gonna work with you. If you're working at home and you don't have a partner to work with, I want you to go ahead and have your um, feet toward a wall and be, have your back facing the wall. And when you lower back into a back bend, you're gonna draw your top of your head toward the wall. If you do have someone to work with, I want you to grab a strap or a belt or something that you can work with a partner. So you're gonna take that strap, Suze, help me get that across your lower back. You're gonna wrap it around your lower back. It should be really low in towards your sacrum, that triangular area towards your lower back. And it should come right across middle of your hip, so not too high up. It's very important that the strap is not across your lower back. We're gonna go ahead, if you're spotting, I want you to go to one knee and have your arms be nice and straight. You're gonna use your upper body. And then when you're ready, the person who's doing the back bend, inhale, draw your chin up, and then exhale, just lower down. And make sure you talk to your partner. And then come on out of that, Suze, when you're ready, and then let's go ahead and go for it. So you guys just work at your pace at home. Again, make sure you're going to a level that feels good for you. Suze, do I need to hold you more? Your hands can drop down to your ankles if that feels good for you. And make sure again, you're talking to your partner. And then exhale, come on up and release that. Very nice job, Suze. And you guys go ahead and switch partners for me. And just hang out for a minute. Let me help everybody else out. So once again, this allows you to get a little deeper into the pose with stability through your back. You're trying to open through your front body and really relax your torso into that. So when you're ready, guys, if you're the one doing the back bend, inhale, lengthen, draw your chin up, and exhale, start lowering back. You can drop your hands to your ankles if that feels good for you. If not, you can hold the strap, keep your hands on your waist. Again, whatever feels best for you. Beautiful, that looks great, everybody. So nice and relaxed. Cody, I missed what happened, but you're smiling, so it must be good. And you're lowering back slowly whenever you're ready. Laura, that looks fabulous. Come on up and release out from that nice job. Go ahead and lay your straps off to the side. And when you're ready, go ahead and move back to your mats, everybody. We're gonna lay down flat on your back. We're gonna do a little bit of work with some quad stretches here. Actually, you know what, sit up and then we'll lay back. That'll probably be a more effective quad stretch. So when you're ready, we're gonna float your right leg into triang, so the top of your right foot floats towards your right hip. You can roll your right calf muscle out of the way to clean up that crease a little bit. We're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, just start walking your hands behind. If you can, drop down to your elbows. You want that right knee to stay flat on the floor. We're trying to work through your quads here. If you feel really good, you can go ahead and lay down 
flat on your back. If that feels okay for you and you still don't feel a stretch, bend your left knee. And if you still don't feel anything, grab that knee and pull it in towards your chest. If your right knee pops up off the mat, you need to back up a little bit and keep that knee down. Beautiful. Let's go a couple good breaths on that side. So working nicely through that right quad. Inhale, breathe into that quad. And then exhale, relax and let that stretch fall in. Let's go one more breath on that side. Beautiful, everybody. And then after that breath, if you bent your left knee, go ahead and straighten up that left leg and then start drawing your torso upward. We're gonna straighten up your right leg, shake that out a little bit, and let's get that stretch on the other side. And this is, again, is preparation and warm up through the quads for the next stretch that we're gonna do. So fall into triangle with your left leg, roll your left calf muscle out of the way. When you're ready, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, just start walking back with your hands. You can drop down to your elbows. If that's a good stopping point for you, go ahead and stop there. If you still don't feel anything through the quads, go ahead and lay down flat on your back. If you still don't feel a stretch there, you can bend your right knee and keep that right foot flat on the mat. And still, if you feel nothing, you can grab that knee with your hands and pull it in towards your chest. As soon as that left knee comes up off the mat, you know you need to back up a little bit. That knee needs to stay nice and flat so that quad can get a nice stretch. Go two more breaths on that side, relaxing through. We didn't do this stretch very often in, in a lot of classes. We should. I love this one. Beautiful. Exhale. Come on up. Release. Sit on up. Straighten up your legs and shake that out a little bit. Nice job. So we're going to do a pose called tiptoe couch. Kind of a funny name. And the point of it is to be on your tiptoes. So when you're ready, come to a squat position, guys. And you want to be up on your toes if you can. We're gonna start just by dropping your knees forward. So you're up on your toes. I have bone spurs in the balls of my feet and there are some people who have feet issues. So if being up on your toes is too painful, you can lay your toes flat, but it is recommended that you try and keep your toes tucked under. We're gonna go ahead and just reach back with your hands and I'm gonna lay my toes flat before I hurt myself. And then we're gonna go ahead and roll back. If you can get down to your elbows, that's great. You're actually trying to draw the top of your head flat onto the mat. If that still feels good for you, you can release your elbows out from underneath. Reach down and see if you can hold your calves with your arms. So now you know why we warmed up those quads. This is a really beautiful stretch across your front body. Really nice through the legs, through the quads. If you're on your tiptoes, you can feel that through your feet. One more deep breath there. That looks good. And then exhale. If you straighten up your arms, bend your elbows, draw your torso upward, beautiful. And then sit off to the right hand side, swing your legs around front and shake that out a little bit. That's great. Nice job, everybody. So kind of a different back bend that we don't do very often. Let's go ahead and lay down flat on your back. And when you do back bends, it's really important to just relax in between each iteration. So you can draw your arms overhead and get really tall from your heels to your fingertips. Or you can open up in a nice big X, whatever feels good for you. It's almost like a starfish. And let's go two more breaths there, just nice and relaxed. Just try to lengthen through your spine because we just did that nice arch through your back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna do a little bit of work with bridge, guys. Okay? So go ahead and bend your knees for me. Your heels are gonna come in by your sit bones. Your feet are nice and flat and they're about hips width apart. Hands are down by your sides, palms downward. And let's just do a nice easy bridge to warm up here. And then we'll start moving, get a little more work in. So when you're ready, inhale, go ahead and float your navel up toward the ceiling. So we're gonna get a couple good breaths in here. Then we're gonna talk about using a block in bridge. While you're here, I want you to keep your feet nice and flat, your shoulder blades nice and calm and relaxed into the mat. It's almost as though someone has a string on your navel and is pulling it upward. So you're working through your abdominals, you're working through your quads, and you're relaxing through your back body. One more breath, that's beautiful. 
And then after that one breath, I want you to slowly lower down on an exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae. Really take your time through this. It helps to elongate your spine. It helps to relax and massage the long muscles on either side of your spine. And once your um, tailbone hits, straighten up through your legs and just relax for a breath or two. We're gonna get a little more work here and with bridge. And if you're new to bridge, I'd like you to go ahead and use a block. So if you guys wanna sit up and grab a block, if you need to, feel free to do that. We're gonna do some leg movements in bridge. And sometimes it's hard to keep that um, extension and your navel floating upward when we're moving your legs around here. So keep a block nearby if you need it, okay? So when you're ready, let's go into bridge again. You're gonna bend your knees, feet are flat on the mat, heels are in by your sit bones, feet are hips width apart. When you're ready, let's inhale and float up into a bridge position with a block. When you're using a block, you can either lay the block this way under your sacrum, you can flip it this way for a little more extension, or you can go for a full extension and draw it all the way up. It should be in your sacrum, that point in your lower back, right where it's underneath your hips, not in your lower back. Beautiful, everybody, thanks for hanging with me. When you're ready, we're gonna kick your right heel up toward the ceiling. So that may be a lot for some of you. If you need to grab that block and place it underneath, feel free to do that. We're gonna bend your right knee. You're either gonna put your right foot on top of your left knee, or you can bring it up toward your left hip. So you're either gonna open up into almost like a cross-legged position or in a half lotus position. And then I want you to roll that right knee open. Try and maintain that position through your torso, through your body as well. So don't let your hips sink down. Keep your navel extending upward. We're gonna go three more breaths there. If you're not using a block and you need to, reach down and grab one. And for those that aren't in class, I'm gonna try and scoot that next to you in case you need it, guys. Beautiful, exhale, drive that heel up toward the ceiling. Give me one good breath there. Open up the toes in your foot and draw, draw the ball of your foot upward. And then slowly go ahead and drop that foot back down to the mat. We're gonna lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. So if you are using a block, pop that out from underneath your back, slowly lower down. Let your tailbone be the last thing to hit. See if you can even hit the vertebrae and the curve in your lower back. Straighten up through your legs. Let's relax a couple breaths there. And then we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So if you were using a block, maybe you can hover above the block a little bit and challenge yourself. If you weren't using a block and you feel like you needed one, make sure that you grab that right now so you're ready for our next side. All right, guys, let's keep it moving. Go ahead and bend your knees again for me. And again, feet are hips width apart, heels are in by your sit bones, palms are flat down by your side. When you're ready, inhale, let's float up again into a nice bridge position. Navel is upward, working through your abs, working through your quads, relaxing through your back body. So try not to push up with your back body, try and extend up with your front body. Same thing here, left heel kicks up toward the ceiling. That's beautiful. And from there, go ahead and bend your left knee. Left heel is gonna go across your right knee or it can go in toward your right hip so you can get more of a half lotus extension and open through that left knee. So you're getting that extension through your hips. That's beautiful, everybody. You got it, Cody. So just let that relax, actually. That's exactly what we're going for. That's wonderful. Let's go one more deep breath there. Looking good. That's great, Joe. And then after that one breath, exhale, kick your heel up toward the ceiling. Give me two breaths in center. Open up the toes of your foot and pull the ball of that foot upward. You should be actively engaging and working through that right quad. Exhale, go ahead and drop that foot down to the mat. Inhale, navel comes up a centimeter. Exhale, slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Really take your time. This is about the journey, not the destination. So take your time massaging the long muscles on either side of your spine, elongating through, and once your tailbone hits, straighten up your legs. You can draw your arms overhead, get nice and tall, heels to fingertips, or you can open up into that starfish, almost like a giant X, if that feels better for you. Let's go two more breaths, relaxing through here. Try and let your back relax. Try and let your abs relax. Try and let your quads relax. Everything that you are actively utilizing in that stretch. Beautiful. From there, if your arms are already overhead, I want you to draw them up and come on up to a seated position. So use the strength of your arms and abs. Come on up to a seated position and shake that out a little bit. Nice job. You guys, I'm going to spin you around so your heads are toward the top edge of your mat. 
Beautiful. Next pose we're gonna do is a pose called fish. Okay, so we're all up into a seated position. I want you to lower down and I'm gonna talk you through this, Yang. So your elbows are flat on the mat. So your palms are downward. Your hands are either tucked underneath your lower back or off to the side, whichever feels better for you. You're gonna come up with your chin and then start drawing your head overhead. You're trying to get it so you're on the top of your head, right where you'd rest a book. And let's just go a couple good breaths there. So let's not do any arm movement or anything yet. A couple good breaths there. Again, this pose is called fish. So a nice arch through your back. Joe, you're doing fabulous with that. See if you can open through your front body there. From there, I want you to start drawing your head up, push into your elbows, and then just go ahead and lay down flat for me and relax for a couple of breaths. So try and release yourself out of that. Alright, let's go for that same pose again and we're going to add a little bit more into it this time. When you're ready, draw your arms overhead and use the strength of your arms and abs. Come on up to a seated position. Beautiful. From there, let's go ahead and float back into fish. You're going to drop your elbows down to the mat, start lowering yourself downward. Get the top of your head flat on the floor. If that feels good for you and that's enough for you, I want you to stay there. If that feels really good for you, you can draw your arms upward. So all the work is through your upper body. And if that still feels good, you can also pick your legs up almost like into a boat position. So your legs and arms are upward. So stop at a level that feels good for you. Fabulous, that looks beautiful, everybody. And you'll notice Laura has her arms drawn overhead, which is another iteration, that's wonderful. We're gonna go five more breaths there. And again, you're working at your pace. If this is difficult for you, breathe a little more quickly and finish up with the pose. If this feels really good, I want you to have nice, calm, slow breaths and relax through. If you're not breathing at all, you need to back off and find a position where you can breathe. After your five breaths, guys, go ahead and relax out. Release your head out, lay down flat on your back, get a couple good breaths in. That's beautiful, everybody. Nice job. So again, you're laying flat on your back, you're relaxing through your upper body, relaxing through your torso, hanging through. When you guys are ready, let's go ahead and roll over onto your stomachs. And keep your head toward the front edge of your mat for me here at the TV studio. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and just lay down flat on your stomach. Drop to your right ear. Drop your hands down by your sides. Get a couple good relaxing breaths in here. We're going to do a, a little bit of work with a pose called locust. If you would like and you have bony hips, you may want to place a blanket or a towel underneath your hips. So if any of you need to do that here, feel free to grab your blanket and open that up and get ready for that. We're going to go ahead and drop your hands down by your sides with your palms downward. Your arms should be nice and long. This pose is more about extending and working through the legs than it is about your upper body. You're gonna raise your shoulders and head up slightly. You're gonna keep your gaze looking downward, but your legs are gonna come up almost like Superman. So when you're ready, come on up. Palms are actively pushing in toward the mat. Shoulders and head are up and looking downward. So you have a nice straight spine. You're pushing strongly through your feet and drawing your heels up and your toes up. So you're getting that nice arch through your lower back. We're gonna go a total of 10 breaths here. And you've been here for a little bit, so move at your pace. That looks beautiful, everybody. Cody, come up a little bit more with your head so your neck is straight. So just your forehead, do you see what I'm saying? Come up a little bit with your head so your neck is straight. Yes, that's it. Beautiful, so working 10 breaths there. When you're done with your 10, lower everything back down to the mat, drop your hands down by your sides. Relax for a breath or two. Let's go to your left ear, if you don't mind, and relax through that, beautiful. Nice job, everybody. And let's go ahead and move into a variation of that. This pose, oddly enough, is called Flying Locust, which I think is just a hilarious name. We're gonna go for it. It's actually a pose that feels really good. So when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and bend your right knee. You wanna slightly flex your right foot so you have a um, position for your other leg to fall to. So we're gonna pick your left leg up and draw it right on top of your right foot. You may notice the closer you bring your heel in towards your hip, the more extension you're gonna get through that pose. Hands are either down by your sides, palms downward, or you can float your hands underneath your shoulders. Head and neck is straight, you're looking downward, so you're up slightly with your torso looking down. 
full extension through that left leg. Once again, we're going a total of 10 breaths here. That's beautiful, everybody. This should feel really nice across the front of your left hip, across the front of your left thigh, and really nice through your lower back. We're gonna go 10 total breaths. When you feel like you're done with your 10 breaths, come on out, release that. Drop your hands down by your sides, drop to your right ear. If you're still working, I want you to work at your pace. So you own the length of your breath. And you can go hands down by your sides, Cody, and completely relax. You look like you're getting ready for something more intense. <laughs> Beautiful, let's do that same pose on the other side. So when you're ready, bend your left knee, flex your left foot slightly, pop your right leg right on top of that left foot. Again, the closer your heel is and towards your hip, the more extension you can get in that pose. Hands are either down by your sides, palms downward, or float your hands, palms downward underneath your shoulders. Beautiful, head and neck are up a little bit, shoulders are up a little bit, but you're looking downward so you keep that spine nice and straight. You should feel a nice stretch, a nice opening through the front of your right hip, a nice arch in that right lower back. Total of 10 breaths on this side as well. That's beautiful, looking great everybody, that's fabulous. So flying locust. A funny name for a really comforting, good pose here. And when you're done with your 10 breaths, and I'll say it again, you're moving at your pace. If this feels good for you, long, calm, slow breaths. If this is a little much, breathe a little more quickly, be done with it. Either way, you succeed. When you're done, release out of it. Hands drop down by your sides, drop to your right ear. Get a couple of good relaxing breaths in there. Nice job, everybody. So just falling into the mat, melting in, and relaxing. That's beautiful. From here, let's go ahead and bring your hands forward. Another one of my favorite back bends. So we're on your stomach, you're nice and long from your toes to your fingertips. We're gonna inhale, I just want you to look at your hands, don't do anything yet. And then exhale, on your next inhale, bring your arms and legs up. So come on up, just like Superman, everything comes up. We're gonna go 10 good breaths there. So you're lengthening toes to feet. You're getting that nice arch through your lower back. You may notice your body rocks a little bit as you breathe, and that's completely normal, no worries. Just let that body rock, breathe deeply. 10 of your breaths again. So if this is a little hard and it starts getting hard toward the end, breathe a little quickly. And if you're feeling real good, breathe long, slow, relaxing breaths. After your 10 breaths, on your last inhale, come up one more centimeter, and then exhale, lower down. Hands down by your sides, drop to your left ear. Beautiful and relax through again. Nice job, everybody. Let's do a little bit of work with bow here. So when you're ready, you're gonna bend both of your knees, reach back and grab your ankles with your hands. See if you can have your fingers on the outside and your thumbs on the insides of your ankles. When you're ready, I want you to inhale, look forward and exhale, relax, and on your next inhale, drive your heels up toward the ceiling and back toward the wall behind you. Beautiful, we're gonna go two more good breaths there. The better you feel, the closer you bring your knees in together, the harder you drive back with your heels, the more you open through your front body. So arms are long, front body's nice and open. Exhale, come on out, release, beautiful. Hang down, lay down, legs are straight, arms are straight, drop to your left ear, I think we're on, and relax a breath or two. When you guys are ready, come on up to a seated position, and we're gonna lay down flat on your back with your heads toward the back end of your mat. Believe it or not, that's class. Let's get ready for Shavasana. So go ahead and lay down flat on your back in a nice comfortable position. Final pose, of 
class is the most important in yoga called Shavasana. This is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open. Bring your hands by your sides, palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thanks so much for your time and hard work today. Good job. Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.